Good morning, welcome to Family Outings TV. Here we are today at Blackpool Zoo. Uh, we're here on one of our two day coach trips. We're going to be here day one, Blackpool Zoo, and day two, our passengers have the choice of free time in Blackpool or they can add on the uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach and make Blackpool Pleasure Beach their second day. So, as I say, we're at Blackpool Zoo and we're going to take a little look around now and see everything that you can expect here at Blackpool Zoo as part of our two day itinerary with family outings. Okay, so there we have it, that's our day at Blackpool Zoo. Um, we're heading back to the coach now, our passengers will be coming back around about between five and six, and we're heading to the Big Blue Hotel this evening where we will be staying. So, I say Blackpool Zoo, great little zoo. It's got plenty of uh, big animals such as your lions, your tigers, elephants, penguins, sea lions, um, and lots more to see and do, as you will have seen from the clips before this. Um, so next up, as I say, you will be joining us from the Big Blue Hotel, which is where our passengers stay on this tour. Um, we'll have a look at the rooms, have a little look around the hotel, and we'll have a look at breakfast as well tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, our passengers had the choice. They had the choice of free time in Blackpool, or alternatively, they had the choice of a day at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for £25. Uh, as I say, that price is correct here in uh, April 2024 so if you are watching that uh, this after that date the price may have changed slightly but uh, it's a great little add-on for £25 because uh, entry into the park is around 35 40 anyway so you're making a saving if you cho choose to do that so next time I see you we will be at the Big Blue Hotel in Blackpool so come join us as we check out the rooms at the Big Blue Hotel Wow, so here we are at the Big Blue Hotel. I've just arrived into my room and um, wow, 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 wow. Here is the uh, the lovely bathroom, double sink. It's massive. Is that king or queen size? It's bigger than double. Huge room. And then Let's just go into here, living room, but the best thing about this, let me see if I can turn some lights on, look at the view, how amazing is this, a view out <laughs> to the roller coasters and Blackpool Pleasure Beach, now every room is different here don't get me wrong you may get a different room to this but you can just see the quality of the rooms here at uh, the big blue hotel absolutely stunning so now I'm gonna go grab some tea out in Blackpool and you'll see me tomorrow morning and check out the breakfast here at the big blue hotel Good morning from the Big Blue Hotel. They have a few clips of breakfast and it was delicious. Um, as you could see, it had pastries, hot food, cereals, which you would expect uh, at a breakfast, but the quality was really good as well. Lovely bacon, lovely sausages, 
absolutely delicious. Um, so I'm back at the room now and take a look at this view. I know we saw it yesterday, but what a view to wake up to in the morning if you do like your theme parks. Absolutely amazing. I've seen a few um, trains running around, so the testing ready for the start of the day. Um, but as I say, some of our passengers today are going into the Pleasure Beach um, for £25 they've paid for their entry for the day. And some of the passengers are just going to enjoy Blackpool. There's loads to do here if you don't like rides and uh, or particularly Blackpool Pleasure Beach. There's um, Blackpool Tower, Blackpool Dungeon, Blackpool Circus. Um, you've got Madame Tussauds. You've got Sea Life Centre. There's all the piers. So there's plenty to do here if you're not into rides and the Pleasure Beach. Um, so yeah, our two day breaks depart from Teesside, Stockton, Middlesbrough, Hartlepool and Billingham. Check them out on myfamilyoutings.co.uk. So, now we're going to head into Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, and we're going to just have a little tour and see what sort of rides are available there. Uh, so come join us as we check it out. Right, so here we are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, so we've arrived at 10 o'clock, the rides open about 10.30 um, and as I say, our, pa our passengers have got into the park for £25 per person which is an absolute bargain considering the usual prices at the gate or online. So if you haven't been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, it has something for everyone. For the younger children, it has uh, Nickelodeon land and lots of smaller rides scattered around the park. Uh, and for teenagers and thrill seekers and adults, it's got plenty of big courses. So we're going to take a look and see what's available here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for everybody involved. Okay, so one of the walkthrough attractions here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is uh, Impossible, which I believe is an optical illusion type walkthrough attraction. So we'll go take a look and see what it's all about. All right, great start. A mirror maze, my favourites, where I always get lost. Uh, so far, I've not found a blank end. I might be doing all right here. Just speed it up a little bit for you, see if we get out. Made it out, and now we've got some uh, mirror obscura. Wait, look at me there. Wait. Some more illusiony things to look at here on the walls. And then lots of little uh, optical illusions and games to play as well. So it's only a little five minute walkthrough, but good fun. Kids will enjoy it. Okay, so next up is the Wallace and Gromit ride, which is a dark ride based on the Wallace and Gromit franchise. It's a good little dark ride, so we'll take you in and we'll get a few clips of the ride. So come join us. Cheese. It's porridge today, lad. Tuesday. On at over 125 RPM. Another one of the major courses here is the big one, which until recently was one of the tallest courses in the UK. It is now second in the UK to Hyperia at Thorpe Park, which opens in just a few weeks in May 2024. So here's some off-ride footage of the second tallest UK coaster, the big one, here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Here is the big one on its big drop there. One of the major courses here at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is Icon. This is a double launch coaster and we'll get some uh, off-ride footage of this ride now but uh, as I say this ride is uh, certainly a world-class ride here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and uh, we'll take a look now Thank you. 
Another one of the classic old school type rides here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is the Ghost Train. So come take a look at that as we ride it here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And here we are, the place we've been waiting for, Valhalla, at the front of the park, which I've been debating whether to go on since, uh, since we got here, as I do know you get very, very wet. This is a world-class water ride, which I am going to have to try, aren't I? Um, and just hope for the best. I will get myself a raincoat <laughs> and see uh, see how it goes obviously there's rain capes there I'm guessing you have to pay for them uh, would be nice considering how wet you get if they uh, let you borrow them for a smaller fee but uh, let's see let's see what happens I'm gonna get myself on it I don't know if I'll be able to film any of it but I'll have a try and let's go check out this world-class water ride Valhalla well I've been on it and I can vouch it is a world class dark wet ride absolutely amazing you do get drenched buy yourself a poncho but it's definitely worth a ride if you do come to Blackpool Pleasure Beach with ourselves on our course trips check it out when you're here next it's amazing okay so although Blackpool Pleasure Beach does have a lot of rides for teenagers and thrill seekers it does also have uh, Nickelodeon land which is more suitable for younger children with smaller rides so first of all we've got this Nickelodeon streak which is a kid-friendly coaster a little bit uh, less intense we have a drop tower there just in the distance and we've got a log flume just coming up here very slowly as you can see so we'll go take a little quick scan of Nickelodeon land and see some of the rides there in a little more detail so here we are just got the balloons there in the distance we've also got this uh, this ride here the fairy cab and just there in the distance you can see the uh, the key coaster that's just going over the top there just going out of shot now and here we have the uh, mini log flume which we just saw a few moments ago some of the rides here we've got sponge bob's splash bash which i would imagine would be uh, open during the warmer months there we've got dora's world voyage there in the distance and just here we have Bikini Bottom Bus Tour so a few rides here for smaller children and then of course just there behind it Nickelodeon Streak which is the coaster for younger children just at the back of Nickelodeon land we have a character meet and greet from Spongebob Squarepants Okay, so we've come to the end of the vlog so we've been uh, obviously over the two days we went to Blackpool Zoo yesterday you've seen our hotel and the food available the big blue hotel with them which is amazing uh, and then we've had a little look around Blackpool Pleasure Beach today we've had a look at everything that's available uh, for younger 
and older children. Um, but just to bear in mind with Blackpool Pleasure Beach, we haven't seen all the rides that are available here. Uh, there is a lot more. We've just looked at the major ones uh, for the different age ranges. So hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope that you, uh, you've enjoyed what you've seen and hopefully you will book a family outings with us from Teesside on myfamilyoutings.co.uk and we'll see you all on board soon. So thanks very much for watching everybody and we'll see you soon. Bye.